How's it going? Welcome to another icon. We have got, uh, I believe, a mid version of Mr. DDA uh, Drugbo, um, who I've actually always enjoyed uh, using in the game. Uh, he is actually one of my favorite Premier League players of all time, which you know is saying something as a United fan. So um, yeah, he's I've used his prime cards, his moments cards. I don't actually think I've used his 89 though. I know a lot of people have because uh, he was in the first ever icon swaps, and that also was when he was you know first introduced uh so the hype was quite high um but as you guys know you know not the most meta of icons but i feel like he could definitely uh you know especially with how the gameplay is you know i feel like his usability and playability is at his, you know at its highest and yeah very similar to an erling Haaland in the way he has that size that power strength uh and pace but also uh you know he has that four star four star which is very unique especially for a player of his um, you know play style so I feel like he could definitely be a great differential uh, in this game if you don't want to be you know if you want to be different and don't want to be boring like everyone in the elite division using uh, Kylian Mbappe so we will of course get into the stats and start out with the pace so great example there uh, where he's able to beat one of the top center backs in the game uh, Rafa Varane with pace and power so yeah the first thing to know on the pace is the split even split with 85 acceleration and 85 sprint speed uh, so obviously very ideal and uh, you know usually with a player of this build um, you don't usually get a player uh, as fast as the stats may suggest but he's actually very I guess you could say the stats are quite deceptive um, he's actually quite rapid in game uh, and when you combine that with the power he does possess he's a huge threat especially if you like to use those over the top through balls or even the normal through balls um, as you guys know how overpowered those are it's going to be very hard for the defenders to stop um, he has the 92 strength and the high and average body type uh, so you know when he does kind of have that space to run in behind uh, he kind of just is able to shrug off the defenders and bully them with ease um, he also has the um, kind of I don't even know how to describe it but kind of a special effect where he kind of just bounces off the defenders when they try to barge into him um, so yeah he's it's it's quite it's quite interesting but yeah huge threat with that combination of speed and power um, he also has the 86 jumping 91 heading accuracy and the power header trait so as you would expect with a drug card uh, he's a great aerial threat off set pieces off crosses um, not as dominant as I was expecting, but he's just a great focal point to have um, as you know as a threat. Um, the shooting, uh, the positioning at 92, something I really liked, uh, despite the high high work rates, which have been a problem for me in the past. Um, but I thought his movement off the ball was fantastic, and he times his runs to perfection. He wasn't offsides for me in any situation, um, and you know when he does complete his run, he kind of holds his run on the back shoulder of the defender so he doesn't commit you know once he finishes runs he gets into a position straight away which i really liked um but also um yeah he does like to play on the back end of the defender's shoulder which is perfect because it plays to his strengths and like i said if you time the through ball uh perfectly he's thrown goal and there's no stopping him um and then the 93 finishing as you'd expect a great uh, goal scorer inside the area also with the 91 shot power so that of course will allow him to score in a lot more situations as well as different angles and distances uh, the passing um, not the most consistent and that's just going to be expected with the stats uh, he has 76 short pass and 79 vision also with that low agility and balance combination uh, that will definitely have an effect when trying to change direction really quickly maybe switching the point of attack um, so maybe you can of course boost that with a catalyst I, th I think a catalyst could definitely be a good option if you want to boost up that pace and passing um, and then the dribbling uh, he has 70 agility and 66 balance for me it wasn't an issue if uh, you use him correctly um, but yeah his if you try to force feed him if you try to weave through defenders obviously you're not going to have much fun um, but if you kind of have your back to goal um, and you try to turn the defender in the right situation and in the right way um, he's actually really good at doing so so um, yeah it shouldn't be too much of a problem if um, you know if you do use it correctly but yeah for me it was actually a really fun card again um, I really do love Drugba and I do believe you know if you use players that you really like uh, you'll have more success with them I, I kind of do believe that but um, yeah I think it's a great card I think it could be a really good different option if you want to try something different than you know the classic um, you know Bape and if you like your strong powerful 
uh, presence up top. I think he is a great choice. So yeah, that's going to be my review. Please like, subscribe, comment down below who you'd like to see next, and thank you for watching.